What's going on guys? I'm Chris and today I'm talking about my top 10 favorite movie trailers of all time. Now movie trailers are a thing that I love. I remember vividly coming home from school in elementary school, middle school, even high school and I would go to IMDb and I would watch all the new trailers. I would watch trailers of old movies. I still do to this day. I really do love movie trailers and it's one of my favorite parts about going to the movies so narrowing it down to just 10 was really hard for me to do. In fact, there's actually a lot of movie trailers that didn't make this list. Ones that I probably didn't even think of that I I love so I just narrowed it down to the 10 that I love the most the ones that I rewatch the most and the ones that honestly could stand alone as their own movies so coming in at number 10 for me is Mission Impossible Fallout this is the sixth Mission Impossible movie and the trailer was hype it had a really great like mix of the Mission Impossible theme with the song that's like you can't fight the friction I can't sing I probably just damaged some of your eardrums but it's a really well done trailer it introduced Henry Cavill and the way that it like matched the beat when he was punching and that showed some of the bathroom fight was awesome you got some hints of the awesome helicopter action scenes at the end and overall it just got me so hyped for the new Mission Impossible movie which turned out to be my favorite of the Mission Impossible films so coming in at number nine for me is Captain America Civil War the trailer where Spider-Man shows up at the end I think that's the second trailer it really just shows that the tension is at an all-time high between Iron Man and Captain America you get hints of the airport battle like I said you see Spider-Man at the end which is like the icing on the cake but it even hints at the fight between Bucky Cap and Tony at the very end of the movie and it just got me so pumped. I remember watching this trailer multiple times the day it came out, multiple times leading up to the movie's release, and I actually saw Captain America Civil War twice in theaters on opening day. Once in the morning, once at night with my friends, and it was just a blast. I love that movie to this day, and the trailer is still golden. Coming in at number eight for me is a trailer for a movie that I think should have won Best Picture, and that is 2018's A Star Is Born. This trailer is so chilling. The way that it used the song Shallow that Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper sing, as it kind of plays over the trailer, is just so chill-inducing, like I said. It shows some of the highlights from this movie, whether it's Sam Elliott getting into it with Bradley Cooper's character, or just the drama in general. Like, this movie is so fantastic to me. I wish that it won Best Picture. I don't talk about it enough on the channel, but this trailer alone is, is almost as good as the movie. Like, when a movie trailer does that, you know that it's great, and if you haven't seen the Star is Born trailer, you should definitely watch it. Coming in at number seven for me is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the first full-length trailer. Now, I love the teaser trailer that um, ends with Leo talking to the girl at the end, but the full-length trailer really let me know what I was getting into, let everyone know what they were getting into. It gave us more of Rick Dalton and Cliff Booth. Got me hyped for the ninth Tarantino film, and it still did a good job of not really revealing any of the plot to this movie. Now, some would argue this movie doesn't have a plot. I completely disagree, but this trailer still got me pumped. It set the 60s feel. It even hinted at Charles Manson at the end. It showed Sharon Tate, played by Mario Robbie, and it just captured the vibe of 1960s Los Angeles to a T, and I think the movie did so as well, but the trailer got me so pumped. It's one of Tarantino's best trailers for sure. Coming in at number six for me is 2019's Joker. Uh, the first trailer that we ever got for this movie had me so stoked. Not only did it show Joaquin Phoenix just being creepy the way he was like lost so much weight, he was bent over, kind of messing with his clown shoes at one shot, but it just really showed that this guy could possibly win the Oscar. I remember saying that with my friend at the time. I was like, could Joaquin win the Oscar for the same role that Ledger won it for? Turns out he did. He was just that good. But the trailer set the tone, and my favorite part of this trailer is when the score slash music starts playing over the background. It was so chilling, and it shows him running through a tunnel. He also delivers this line. I used to think that my life was a tragedy, but now I realize it's a comedy which is one of the best lines from the movie. Of course, a part of it was edited out for this trailer. I really do enjoy Joker quite a bit. I know that it's kind of a controversial movie, but it's a really great one. And the trailer is one that I rewatch pretty frequently, which might be weird to some of you, but it's well worth the watch in such a great trailer. So before I give you guys my top five, definitely hit the like button and comment your favorite movie trailers down below. I know that a lot of people love getting to the movies early to watch them, including myself, so it's always fun to talk about trailers, but coming in at number five for me is the trailer for Logan, the movie that came out in 2017. Now, I've seen Logan two or three times, I want to say. I own it on Blu-ray. The trailer is one that I watched like five times the day that it came out. It has the song Hurt, the cover by Johnny Cash, and it accompanies the trailer so well. It sets the tone for the rest of this movie. This is going to be his last run. You can kind of tell from the trailers and it's old man Logan. He's beaten down and battered. Patrick Stewart's Professor X is beaten down and you just sense that, you know, this is the end of an era. This trailer really just got me hyped for this movie and I, I watched it quite a bit. I even watched it before filming this video and it just gave me chills. I was like immediately putting it higher on the list than I originally had it. Coming in at number four for me is the only trailer on this list 
for a movie that has not come out yet, and that is for The Batman, directed by Matt Reeves, starring Robert Pattinson as Batman. When this trailer dropped, it broke the internet. Uh, people were making trailer reactions that just blew up. It was going crazy. The hype was real, and it was like, oh, this movie's so close. It comes out next year. Now it's delayed till 2022, which is really unfortunate, but this trailer is one of the best I've ever seen. It looks really dark and gritty. It looks just like the adaptation of Batman in the Arkham video games, which are some of my favorite video games ever, and everything about it just has me pumped. I'm a huge Robert Pattinson guy. I love him. I think that he's probably my man crush at the moment. Seeing him in these bigger movies like Tenet is just getting me really excited, and this trailer has me pumped. I can't wait for it. Coming in at number three for me is the first trailer for Avengers Infinity War. This came out on my birthday in 2017. I was actually in class in high school at the time, and I watched it probably 10 or 15 times, seriously. Like, I spent my entire seventh period, the last class of the day, just watching this trailer with all my friends on a loop. It was so good. Uh, the way that it takes, it's a callback to the quote from Nick Fury in the first Avengers movie. It's so brilliantly done how they have all of the main Avengers voicing over that quote. And then, of course, you see Thanos. It ends with with Thor saying, who the hell are you guys? And it shows the Guardians. And it just shows you that the stakes are high. This is the beginning of the end for the Infinity Saga of the MCU. And it had me so pumped. It's still one of my favorite trailers. I rewatched it before this video. Gave me all the chills. Took me back. And nostalgia is real with this one. Nostalgia really plays a factor with some of these trailers. And that's why I love the Infinity War trailer. It's probably my favorite MCU trailer ever. Coming in at number two for me is Star Wars The Force Awakens. The second trailer. Even though I want to count them all as one. The main one I want to talk about is the second trailer it has Luke voicing over saying, um, you have that power too. Kind of, it's the callback to the quote from Return of the Jedi when he's talking to Leia. However, this trailer gives us one of the best moments in trailer history. When it ends with Han Solo and Chewbacca entering the Millennium Falcon, it says, Chewie, we're home. That quote right there gives me chills to this day. Every time I rewatch The Force Awakens, I adore Star Wars. Baby Yoda, the child, agrees with me. It's a fantastic trailer. And the score, the iconic imagery callbacks with Darth Vader's crush slash burnt helmet, you can't go wrong with it. It is Star Wars. It encapsulates everything. It takes me back to the moment that I saw this movie in theaters. I have so much nostalgia associated with The Force Awakens that I can't help but put this trailer as high as it is on the list. But coming in at number one for me is the trailer that I think could stand alone as a movie. And that is the trailer for The Social Network, which came out in 2010. Should have won Best Picture. I digress. Uh, the trailer is phenomenal, the way that it opens, showing a bunch of different Facebook posts. It's playing a version of Creep by Radiohead, but it's more of a mellow version of it. Kind of chorus-esque throughout, and it really just sets the tone. The funny thing is, I never watched this trailer before the movie. I went back and watched it, and I watch it like weekly to daily. It's so good, uh, the way that it just builds and builds the tension, and it just it's literally just people talking in rooms at a very fast pace, which is what the movie is, but the way the music plays into it makes it so intense, and it really does summarize this movie to a T. Like, it, you could basically watch this trailer and get the gist of the movie, which is perfect, I think. Um, I'm glad I didn't watch the trailer before I saw the movie, but the trailer alone is better than a lot of movies that come out nowadays. I think Joey Molinaro from Barstool actually tweeted, why is the Social Network trailer better than most movies? He's not wrong. So yeah, that's going to do it for my top 10 favorite movie trailers. Definitely hit the like button and comment your ranking of your favorite movie trailers down below. Which ones do you love? Which ones do you hate? Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? I love talking in the comments with you guys. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. The support lately has just meant so much. I'm excited for all the content I have planned in the future, whether that's Mandalorian episode reviews, live streams, movie reviews, Blu-ray hunts, vlogs, all that good stuff. Just stay tuned for all that. Uh, thank you for sticking around, and uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.